What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another ladder cast. We've got this amazing Terran player here in this top right. His name is Rush. He's going to be facing off against Saxory, who unfortunately did not make it into the ASL this season. Kind of a surprise there. I think he made it in last season. I think he was doing quite well. Um, he's very popular in Korea. I believe he is quite the popular streamer. And this game, he's going to be going for a, a, a nine pool. Is this nine pool right here? Yeah, nine pool with the uh, extractor trick. So he's thinking that there might be some sort of eight racks coming. And you know what? He is completely right. Rush is going to be true to his name here. He's going to put some pressure onto Saxory here in the early game. Yeah. I think that this should end up in a rush victory what we're seeing in this game here um it is actually not going in his favor though rush should be uh, favored to win this he is like one of the top guys the guys that i have on my very short list of who should be you know in the finals of asl this season but uh this is not a good start man this is not a very good start at all he will be able to scout he sent out two scvs and he's sending his marine through the middle of the map he didn't see anything at the natural though, so he has no idea. He has no idea that Lings are coming here. This is actually really bad for us. This is about as bad as it gets, guys. You can see he sent the SCV in, he saw no natural, and he sent down towards the bottom left. He thinks that there's something in the bottom left, and he's going forward with this eight racks, even though there's actually Lings heading towards his base. This is actually worst case scenario. Absolutely worst case scenario. Let's see what Rush can do with this really terrible situation that he's found himself in uh, he's going to be popping out another marine here in a second that's going to get targeted down immediately but he takes a pretty decent fight looks like he lost one marine and he traded out about three lings there uh two or three lings and another couple lings are going to make their way up here lings are right on top of this barracks he actually needs to take this fight perfectly here oh it's pretty darn good that was a very nice block with the scvs i can't believe he kept that marine alive Looks like one of the Marines did pop out. It gets chased down, though. Can he get the block here? Oh, it's so hard. He does get a pretty decent block, but as long as Saxory rallies uh, Lings across the map here, he should be able to take this win. Another nice block with the SCV. Getting some good hits with the SCV as the Lings are attacking. Looks like he is transferring into drones now. Drone production is on the way here. And Rush will go in and take his CC. But this is a very rough start from him. Very rough indeed. We're going to take a base down in the bottom left-hand corner. Look at that. Grabbing double expansion here. So because he managed to deal that damage, because he managed to counter this build so hard, so hard Saxory going to double expand as his prize here rather than trying to just straight up end the game which i think he might have been able to do had he just kept building lings eventually you're gonna just you know just keep that link or that marine count so low and keep picking off scvs it's gonna be very hard for your opponent to recover now he doesn't decide to go for that instead falling back and taking double expansion it's not a bad idea i i honestly for for our viewing uh, for our viewing pleasure here, I think that's a much better idea. I like it. We're going to get to see an actual game here with Saxory far and away in the lead. Let's see if he's able to close it out against Rush here. Now, we do have the uh, drone and SEV counts, which don't let this deceive you. We've already got our third base up. We've got three hatches, and the CC is not even close to being done. So in a normal game, what you'll see is a single barracks with the expansion, and the expansion will come up just after the natural comes up here for the Zerg. So we are desperately far behind as Rush, but he's managed to throw down a bunker. He's going to be going into a two racks play, and maybe he can get out here and pressure. Plus, we've got this base, which is a little bit exposed. There's nothing really we can do to put sunkins or anything. We have to leapfrog sunkins out towards this ramp so it's not a great position for the sunkins to be at, or for the uh, base to be at um and we've got marines on the field marines out here on the field naked marines in fact are just gonna walk across the map and 
That is a little bit crazy here. I wonder if this is actually going to end up working out for Rush. He's sending seven Marines across the map. Even though there's four links behind and there may be a bunch of links about to pop out here. In fact, there are a bunch of links about to pop out. And I don't know how much drone damage can he do right now. Four links pop out. The links are going to come from behind at the same time. Can he get any drones? Looks like he's going to get one. He might get two. Two drones end up going down, but he's going to lose every Marine here. The speed upgrade finishes and the Marines go down in very quick order. Only managed to kill two drones for all those lost Marines. That is very, very bad for Rush. So Rush taking a bad situation and making it even worse, unfortunately. He's going to add on another barracks. Try to find a way back into this game. That was just not it. Coming up here, he sees that there's two medics and a few Marines, but Saxory is so in control of this game now. It's ridiculous. we got to see the third gas come down pretty soon here. He's got great mineral saturation. He's got a basically an, a, a drone for every mineral patch at all three bases. But he hasn't taken his third gas yet. I, I wonder what that's actually about right now because I really feel like getting that gas online should be top priority. He hasn't done it yet. He's going to throw down a hatchery now over here at the bottom left. So hatch or not hatchery, excuse me, Hydroden is going to be thrown down here. A transition is imminent. He doesn't know what's coming here for Rush just yet. But once he gets in and sees that there's no factory, we're just building Marines on three barracks and hoping for the best. He's going to find out that, you know, this Hydralis Den was a really, really good idea. The Hydra Den here is going to give him the option to switch into Lurker. And the Lurkers are going to give him a nice defensive position so that his Mutas can just go full whole hog, just totally ham on the Terran main. All the dr the SCV lines are going to get harassed while the, while the Lurkers hold back at home. So he does throw down a couple of sunken colonies here. One thing I've seen recently, some players do, is actually put a space between these sunkens. They leave a little open space so that they can tuck the uh, lurkers in between the two sunken colonies there. But looks like he's not uh, caught on to that trend just yet. This is a, ma a match from the 30th of this month. March 30th of 2024. So, or I guess it's already April here in Japan. So... The 30th of March, very, very recent replay indeed. We've got the Hive on the way. Lurkers are about to start morphing, and we are moving into that next stage, I think, of this uh, matchup where the Terran player is going to have full control of the map, and the Zerg is just going to be back at home being careful. Oh my gosh, does he not have any lurkers over here? Where's the hydras? Over at the natural. We just don't have any right now. There's three hydras over here, but none over at, at the natural area right now. He's fighting with the marines the best that he can while building up the sunken count. A lurker is going to morph, it looks like. He's ready to fight in case Rush pulls the trigger on attacking this natural, but this is still a precarious situation. Like I said, we we're, we're about to get to that point in the game where the pressure sort of shifts, where the Terran suddenly has map control and will be able to take uh, positions all over the map and force the Zerg to defend. And that's when Z things can get a little hairy for the Zerg player. We'll see how he handles this upcoming pressure. Saxory is going into this into this part of the game from a very strong position, I'll say. He has a lot of drones. He's managed to, to hold everything off. He's got his evolution chamber on the way here. His hive is done. He should be starting his... Where Where is the... Oh, man. He's really being slow with uh, throwing down that defiler mound. There it is. Defiler mound is going to come into that production tab, so he will be getting the defiler mound going. That looks like me micering these mutas, man. Trying to fly in and get a kill and just completely whiffing a shot there. Coming up now, he's got three lurkers at this natural. He might underestimate how many lurkers are here and try to dive in, but no, Rush knows that that would be a devastating moment. If he ends up losing all these marines on the map, he could be in a really bad position. So he's just going to take it easy for now. 
lurker under the stack here but you can see that we don't even have any science vessels out just yet science vessels are in production and after that we're gonna have some drop ships coming out but look at how much time Saxory has right now he has so much time to set everything up usually in a game of tvz we would have the uh, vessels already out on the map throwing down radiates you know dealing damage and killing off lurkers but here we i mean we don't have any pressure for soul key or for uh, Saxory to deal with at all sorry i've done a lot of soul key casts recently but this is not soul key 100 it's not nidus canal finally going to go down was well, a little bit slow on that, but it's not a big deal. We still don't have that pressure coming in just yet. It's like the Mutas are going to get caught here. Oh, God. Saxory. We're seeing why he didn't make it into ASL this season. Even in such a good position here, making some critical mistakes that could end up costing him in the long run. These Mutas are going to be very helpful when it comes to dealing with the double drops that are about to come in. These double drops could tear Saxory apart or they could dig the grave a little bit deeper for rush it all depends on whether these scourge and mutas can connect on the drops as they're coming in scourge are available over here and here there's only one open area where maybe drops could slide in but he's adding on more scourge here he's got the defilers out now he's getting into plague as well those drop ships heading out on the map. Where will they head? Well, this might be a good opportunity to potentially get in here because we're going to try and push out now. And some of the Scourge are going to go down. Maybe while Saxer tries to take this fourth base, there's an opportunity. There might be an opportunity to slip in with these drop ships. Well, he's actually going to head towards the main now. And there's plenty of Scourge over here. There's an opening on this side, but I don't think that Rush has identified it. Are we going to go with D-Matrix? We don't have the energy for D-Matrix, so we're just going to have to go for it here. Flying straight through. There's plenty of Scourge right now. Oh, man. One drop goes down already. Second drop is about to fall as well. Both drops have gone down uh, the Marines over here are going to be able to get into a pretty decent position. But the Dark Swarm absolutely shutting down this attack. Saxory holding on everywhere right now. And Rush is looking a little bit impotent here. Not able to do anything at this moment. He's going to bring his vessels over towards this uh, fourth base natural. But unfortunately, we've already got the Defiler here. He will Dark Swarm the overlord over the stack of lurkers is going to prevent him from starting even to cut through that stack and i think sax are just going to hold on to everything for now rush is going to have to go for like really really late game if he wants to try and take this one uh, after getting shut down so much i don't think he's going to be able to break through anywhere there's another ninus canal coming up here at the front that's a funny location to put a ninus canal i definitely wouldn't recommend that it's probably going to link the natural down here and first uh oh god he didn't get the plague that's huge not getting the plague there is massive actually we've got quite a few lings ready to fight how are our upgrades plus one armor here plus two attack is done and plus three attack is on the way so Rush really staying on top of those upgrades at least. Nidus Canal has not been linked just yet. Some Lings are going to make their way around the outside of the map. It's really nice to send Lings up to uh, another main like this. Uh, in these situations specifically. Because you know... Oh god. D-Matrix Firebat's going to run in here. This stack of Lurker stands no chance. A great plague goes down. But it's just Lings coming down to defend. The Nidus Canal is linked but i don't see any lurkers popping through my god these fire bats are just massacring four seven and six kills to their names and the natural is just gonna go down so quickly lurkers will pop through finally coming out to try and save the day here but the damage has been done the fourth base has been taken out and just like that rush brings this game back from the brink here 
Saxory looked like he was gonna run away with this one, but Lings are actually going to surround and finish off all of these Marines. So he does clear the Marine stack at the very least. A drop coming through though, drop over here towards the natural into the main base as well. Scourge are not in position to deal with that. Lings are still down here. They're not also in position to deal with that. More drones going down. Rush, absolute madman breaking through everywhere right now. Making it so hard for Saxory to hold on. Looks like Saxory will eventually clear out all of these attacks. But at the end of the day, another drop making its way over here. And Saxory is starting to fall apart. Ultras will be sent forth. Very, very good units for clearing out Marines and Medics in dropships. But if you can get the Marines and Medics behind the wall like this, the wall of minerals especially with a medic there in the front it's impossible for the ultras to get back and defend he's even gonna lose an ultra it looks like because of this positioning right now coming in gonna get a couple of irradiates rush is really trying his best to break this this uh zerg player right here right now Marines running into the natural at the fourth base as well. Ultras are on the high ground. Why aren't they bringing, being brought forth to actually deal with this? He cancels the fourth base. Saxory is really starting to fall behind now. You can see the supplies are shooting up for Rush despite losing a lot of his army and quite a few of his dropships. His vessel count still remains high and his irradiates are seriously starting to take a toll now that we do not have this extra extractor man it's such a shame that he didn't bring the lurkers forward here i guess it was only one lurker bring it up here and actually defend this fourth prevent the fourth base from going down uh, once again would be really really helpful for the efforts of saxory saxory actually trying to take this right now he's trying to take this base but he has no idea that he's about to be foiled here Rush making a run into this natural. He loses the Defiler. The Defiler snipe is huge. One plague could have really shut down this attack, but he manages to get up here with a Dark Swarm. Dark Swarm here. Holding off everything. Another run forward from a small group of Marines. Oh, is he going to be able to get the Nidus? It's so low. Very nice hold by Saxory on all fronts here. So we've got, what, what is this drop into the main base? Wow, he's starting to drop here. Saxory deciding, you know what? If you can do that, so can I. We can make a, make a mess here in your main base for you to clean up here, Rush. Firebat back here. Pretty annoying. That might come into play a little bit later. We'll try to keep an eye on that on the minimap, but... Hasn't been sent in just yet. Could get a lot of drones. We're going to try and get this next this base online, I hope, here. Saxory really needs to get moving. We're at 19 minutes. And 21 minutes is when things start to really uh, get out of control. Oh, my God. He's continuing this drop. Another drop with a Defiler this time. He's going to clear out a lot of these Supply Depots, man. He's killing off so many supplies here. The Supply Depot kills are massive right now. They're going to make such a big difference because... Rush actually cannot produce anything. He's so heavily supply blocked. He's not going to be able to make anything for quite some time. Looks like one Defiler making its way over here towards the third base. If he can shut this down. If he can just get in there and shut that down. He might have a chance still in this game. The drop play is actually in just crazy. I've never seen a drop play quite like this. Uh, from a, a Zerg player this far you know, with this much craziness going on uh, in his base is pulled together a drop at the same time as all that stuff is happening. We've got Ultras making their way into the third and fourth base. A, 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 a what's this called? A, a racer trick is going down over here at the same time. A Dark Swarm needs to follow. Dark Swarm does come down. He should be able to get another one on the low ground here. He really needs some Scourge though. Ultras are breaking through everywhere. A Defiler making its way over towards the natural right now. There's the Scourge finally going to clear this out. Finally going to get rid of these vessels. These pesky, pesky vessels have been removed finally. And the base over here is being shut down. He will eventually be able to irradiate through that. But the natural might be broken. 
The natural is just about to get broken here, guys. Do we have... Oh, the scourge, the scourge. Oh, great. We have a spore over here. <laughs> a spore, I didn't even notice that. Spore in the back. Actually gonna help out quite a bit. Some lings making their way over here to the uh, third base of Rush. Ultras are gonna pop out at the last second of the 11th hour. Are they gonna be enough to defeat all of these Marines? He needs a... Dark Swarm with this so badly, but he doesn't have it. No Dark Swarm here means all the drones are gonna fall and the Marines will push through. It looks like towards victory here, although we still have Lings in the natural. We still have some aggression coming out of Saxory, but you know, this group of Marine Medic just cannot be stopped, man. It is way too powerful. GG is called. Wow, what a wild game there. What an insane game between Saxory and Rush, guys. That was really, really clutch. Let's go back and just take one last look at that bust from Rush. So well played by him. Let's take a look here. When did the uh, when did the bust come through on the fourth base here? Things were looking really bad at this point for Rush. You can just see. We've talked about this actually quite a bit recently is this timing right here with the fire bats. The fire bat timing right as this base is being taken you're you're being so greedy as the zerg player with how little you're using to defend. Four lurkers here, just three lurkers here. That's all he's made. You know, he's got this gas up so quickly. He's managed to bank 1,200 gas. I don't think it would hurt him to build a few extra lurkers, but you can see Saxory. The greed is real. He wants to have that massive ultraless timing where he can pop a huge wave of ultras right as Kiteness plating is finishing. Really surprised to see him getting Flyer Carapace here, but plus two is just about to be done as well. So right as plus two finishes and that kiteness plating is done, he wants that big wave of ultras so that he can overwhelm Rush here. But Rush takes that moment and he just breaks through everything with the double D matrix on these fire bats. So, so cool to watch. Such an impressive strategy and they just mop up everything. The lings. Get completely shredded here. And unfortunately, he didn't pull the lurkers through in time. You have to pull the lurkers right away when you see something like this. You rip the lurkers out of the ground over here and send them through the Nidus immediately. Because this is absolutely going to get broken by that many fire bats, especially with the D Matrix. Really impressive stuff from Mirage. He breaks through all of that. And then I want to see the moment when Saxory decided to go for the drop. Because I don't think we have drop at this point. Like, when when do we actually get the drop? There's the drop from uh, Rush. So annoying. I actually, I actually think this is kind of broken, to be honest. The fact that you can't get ultras back behind your own mineral patches is really, really frustrating. Um, and... On, it ends a lot of games for the for the Zerg player. Zerg players get uh, kicked out of a lot of games because of that. Uh, you're just not able to clear out the Marines from behind your, your mineral patches. It's uh, crazy, crazy painful. So now the, the gas bank is gone. And all we've been able to do is, you know, build up a good amount of, uh, of Ultras. And they've pretty much all been irradiated so a little bit a uh, little bit unfortunate that he didn't just commit more to defense so that he could uh have that little bit later of an ultra switch but a, a lot stronger of an ultra switch is this where we've got okay there's the defilers actually they're already going in wow okay so it was one ultra two links there's a few links look at how many buildings this kills Actually, there's the Dark Swarm. Look at all the supply depots that end up going down here. Absolutely crazy how much damage that this does. And really wild to me that he did this all during that pressure that Rush was putting on him. Really, really well done. Okay, we missed this one plague. It didn't really do much, though. 
not the biggest deal. Did this fire bat ever get sent in? I don't think so. I think that fire bat was just dormant for the rest of this game. The eraser tricks, of course, come in as the gas is really starting to dry up. Oh, there's that fire bat does go down eventually. See, the gas is now depleted here. Gas is getting low over here as well. So, really, we're we're completely out of uh, resources here as Saxory. So, the GG timing was correct. Saxory putting up a pretty decent fight, though, honestly. This was a wild game by Rush. The fire bat attack was very, very well timed, very well executed. Um, but once that attack came through, things got completely out of control. I gotta say, it feels bad. It feels bad when your opponent goes for eight racks and you counter it with a nine pool and you still end up losing. Um, things, <laughs> it really doesn't feel good. Rush was in such a bad position this game after that early, um, that early setup. It felt like he should lose. Honestly, if I'm a Zerg player, it's like, you really should win this now. Um, and we did get into a really good position going into that kind of crazy phase, but this is where Rush thrives. And this is where most Zerg players die, honestly, is when the fourth base is trying to come up and the Terran player has full map control. That is typically when things really start to go wrong. And Saxory did a great job shutting down the first drop, but he was not ready for that firebat crazy attack there, the D-Matrix firebat attack. If he had held that, he would have been in a fantastic spot still. He would have likely won the game with just that big Ultralisk flood that was he was preparing to send out. Would have been all on rush to hold that off, but unfortunately didn't manage to make it there. Just a quick game here from the ladder, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Worth. I, I'm thinking about maybe doing some other things for the ladder battle series, for the daily dose series. Maybe some casts from my own ladder experience. Maybe some casts of some foreign Brunor players. Um, maybe some older casts. I have a poll up on my channel if you guys want to check it out. Check out the poll, give me some feedback, leave your comment down in the comment section. Whichever one, guys, I love you to death. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.